guys, Silverplay22 here, bringing you another top, well it's not top 5 this week, it's actually top 10 silver players, and it's the top 10 silver players I wish had got an inform or a team of the season or a man of the match or something like that, an upgraded card essentially on FIFA 16. And the obviously silvers, as I am a silver channel, and the astute amongst you will realise that I haven't been putting out as much actual sort of FIFA content at the moment. It's because there's just not as much to do. Like, even with the footies coming out, there's not that many silvers out. Um, I've got quite a lot of silver uh, hybrids coming out quite soon. And obviously quite a lot more top fives and stuff like that. So stay tuned if you like that sort of stuff. And I've got some prediction videos for silver players in FIFA 17. So I hope you enjoy the stuff coming out. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So at number 10, we've got a player. Alan Traore. Now, as you can see, a couple of these cards have come out kind of blurry on this. I don't really know why. I hope you appreciate um, that I'm not the best at sort of, you know, graphics and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the video anyway. But Alan Traore. Now, the reason I would have loved him to get a card was because his stats are phenomenal and he's only a 66 rated and that is purely down to the fact that he's a CDM. Now, if you moved him up to a centre mid, which I always do, or a cam, you'd actually realise, a lot of people would realise how good this card is. He has insane in-game stats and I've given some predicted standout in-game stats obviously these aren't actually relevant in any way to anything you know physical but it's just my personal opinion on what they would have had so he would have had some incredible long shots as he already does but they would have just had an absolute boost to them great balance great free kicks uh decent is short pass and his long pass would be amazing and amazing curve as well so as we get on to the next player it's a little bit biased but we've got seb larson now seb larson's one of my favorite players for sunderland the past few years he would i genuinely would predict that he would have 99 crossing he's got amazing crossing already and as you <laughs> a more astute of you will realize I've actually put hot power. Now, that's not the fact that I find him attractive or anything like that, so don't get excited about that. It's actually meant to say shot power, as you can probably guess. Um, Seb Larson has amazing in-game stats as it is. Obviously, that, that pace puts a lot of people off, which is really nice for me because it means that I can use him and a lot of people don't really touch him, but I absolutely think he's amazing. Got great free kicks, and I think his free kicks would be some of the best free kicks on a silver player this year if he was to have, if he was to have gotten in form. I've given him a hero card just because a bit of a hero to me. Obviously, he's getting a little bit older now and uh, you know not as much involved in the Sunderland team he's still a big player but you know anyway number nine we've got a player who a lot of people absolutely loved and probably would have liked to see you know a little bit higher on my uh, favorite cam list and it's Daily St. Graven now, if you saw my uh, Road to Silver Glory the first season, I think it was, he was actually a bit of a star player. And obviously, the Road to Silver Glory will be returning soon, guys. I, I know I I'm really disappointed. It's my favourite series, and I'm disappointed that I haven't been able to get it out yet. But anyway, this guy, if he had an inform, I would predict that his card stats would look really, really cool. Pushing that 61 shooting up to 70, because a lot of the informs uh, get a really, really high uh, shooting stat. And that would translate really nicely into things like 88 agility, 87 acceleration, 80 crossing. He's got really good jumping. I never actually realized this, but really good jumping and really good curve. And I would love to see an inform card. Number seven is a player possibly other people would put a little bit higher on the list, and it's Yusuf Poulsen. Now, Poulsen obviously is a bit of a fan favourite when it comes to silvers because of that incredible pace and that great physical. Now, for me personally... I think he's great, but I don't think he's as good as some people make out because that dribbling is so, like, stiff. But I feel with an inform card, this card could go from being decent to being really, really usable. Now, I'd put him up to 89 pace, 75 dribbling, 72 shooting, and 80 physical. And that card would look insane. With, eight, with I think, personally, pushing his acceleration and sprint speed up by about 5 points each to 91 and 90. Uh, a decent agility. Already got good finishing, um, but it's, I think 75 finishing and 80. 86 jumping would with that 73 heading would make a really top quality card and obviously really strong as well number six we're nearly halfway we've got Mubarak Wakaso who I put him on this list not because he's not already a great player but because I've I've seen him in a few games play at centre mid and I would love to see this card as a centre midfielder now yeah you could say he doesn't have the best defending even with that inform card but if you actually play with this guy in game he's so strong and he's so fast he sort of gets back to winning everything everything anyway and having that card in a central midfield role with those upgraded stats I think would be absolutely amazing I would give him 95 acceleration 94 sprint speed pushing that agility up to 91 great balance great shot power 
80 inceptions, and he's already got great uh, aggression, but he'd have 92 aggression. And this card actually has really well-rounded stats anyway, and I think that informed central card would be absolutely awesome. And there is actually a list coming out of uh, players who should have swapped positions that will be coming out very, very soon. Now, David Sepacosta is a player that a lot of people don't actually go anywhere near, which is absolutely crazy, because for me, he is absolutely amazing. And I think this card upgraded in right midfield would be awesome. All, car, all stats over 70, I think, probably. Possibly shooting wouldn't go all the way up to 73, but I think it would be going up, you know, enough for it to be up to 70, surely. Um, and I think this card would be almost all yellow or green in every stat, which would be ridiculous. He's got great slide tackling, which I'd push up to about 84. He'd probably push up to about 99 stamina. Great sprint speed. Doesn't have the best acceleration, but great sprint speed. Uh, 81 agility, 82 crossing, and 80 curve. Now, that would be a card I would use in almost every squad. Love that looking card. Uh, Timu Pukki. A lot of people, knowing that he's one of my favourite players of all time, would probably thought he would be a little bit higher but I, the reason he's on this list is because I absolutely loved his inform cards in the past they pushed his shooting up so high and for that reason I've given him 80 shooting pushing all the way up from 10 uh, from not from 10, that would be a horrible card. From 70 all the way up 10 points to shooting of 80. Now, I think his pace would go up quite a lot because Pucky's actually quite a lot faster in real life when I watch him than they make him on FIFA, as they have, as he has been in the past, which is really weird because he's got, you know, he's only 77 pace now. Uh, 76 dribbling. I think his sprint speed would be about 85. The same as Zappacosta, his acceleration is lower than his sprint speed. Decent agility, decent finishing. Possibly even higher finish. Now, I remember his FIFA 13 card had like 95 finishing, or was it higher? Maybe. I don't know. But number three, we've got Hal Robson Cano. And the reason I've given this isn't because it's a card that I would absolutely love to use. It's because it's a card I really feel he deserved. He had such a fantastic Euros. Uh, really one of the standout players. And a player who went into the into the uh, Euros without even having a club, which is absolutely crazy. For that reason, I've given him an international man of the match card. And it's a card I really do feel he, he deserved. Yeah, okay, maybe there's Welsh players that outperform him, but you know that that Cruyff turn goal was absolutely amazing, and I really feel like this would be a card that would have an incredible, incredible beast rating because he has such high pace, such high physical, such high shooting, and such high dribbling. Now maybe I've gone a little bit high on them, but going up from a 66 rated to a striker, Rob. Um, 74 rated, which I really feel they would have done. I, I feel like that would be a huge jump in a lot of the stats, and you can see those stats there. Now, at number two, we've got one of my favorite players, uh, my favorite five star skiller for sure. Mohamed Elianusi, being, being probably my favourite five-star skiller for quite a while now, um, and I think those in-game stats on an inform card would be ridiculous. When we're looking through them, you can see 80, uh, 90 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, 78 finishing, 87 agility, and this isn't me, you know, just picking them out of thin air. This is me adding about four or five to each stat because that is, it does tend to go quite like that. You know, it doesn't always happen, but it, it does, it does sort of go like that a little bit. And it's the only way I can sort of predict it as opposed to just picking them out of thin air. 86 dribbling, 79 crossing and 84 balance. And that is a card that I would absolutely love to use. I'm so hard, happy he's got a Basil card now. If you haven't already tried that, I might put a uh, squad builder out soon. Number one, we've got Tongo Dumbia, purely for the fact that th there is no way that this card couldn't be ridiculous. His normal card is absolutely insane. Okay, he's got all, all stats over 70 with, you know, some stats over 75. And pushing up to an inform would be ridiculous. And this is the stats I genuinely reckon he'd get. 78 pace, 76 dribbling, 77 shooting, 79 defending 76 passing and 89 physical i'd love to know in the comments below guys i already know this but have we already have we had a silver card with over 75 in every stat that's the bonus question for today i'd love to know let's see how many people can figure it out whether we have or whether we haven't and i'd love to know if there is one in the comments below if there's multiple that'd be awesome you can see his predicted in-game stats there and yeah that's the list guys you know tongo dumbia is amazing i would absolutely love any of the cards on this list i'm so good that you know so many of the players that i would have loved to have had on this list 
unfortunately didn't you know you know didn't get an inform card you know we i think we've had a pretty well-rounded bunch of informs team of the seasons man of the matches inform uh, international mile matches this year as far as silvers go but you know there's so many players i was desperate for them to get a card it's just it, they're not going to get one now sadly we just got hope for fifa 17 i'm so excited for fifa 17 guys uh as i said there's going to be some uh, silver 17 prediction videos coming out soon and yeah if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like it lets me know if you've enjoyed it please leave a comment that's you know what i'm all about and let me know in the comments below which silvers do you wish had got an inform card this year cheers guys thanks for watching Ta.